Y'all already know who this is, Unc Bees. Today I'm going to show you how to do the potato patty that y'all love so much, the breakfast potato patty. You're going to use the Unc Bees spicy heat, and you're going to use one of my favorites, the rosemary olive oil. I like the rosemary uh, aspect to inside my olive oil. It gives it an elegant flavor, elegant taste. I just can't express how much I love it so much. Now. You're also going to use these frozen hash brown potatoes, the breakfast kind, the country style. You can get these at, at HEB, Joe B's, or whatever, but they got to be the stringy potatoes. And also, you're going to, I like to use my cast iron skillet. Now, of course, I got my oil already in it, and my uh, oil is already hot. I ain't going to say it appears to be hot. It is hot. You, you, you see, you don't want to add too much oil to this. Just make sure you coat the bottom of the um, uh, skillet. That way, you won't have too much oil. So, with your potatoes, if they're frozen, just take a knife and just bang them up. Because, because you don't want those big chunks of potatoes inside of it. You only want you only want the stringy kind. And you simply just take a handful of potatoes, take a couple of steps back because this oil will jump out and bite you if you ain't careful. Here we go. Just like that. You want to add maybe one more in it as well. You just take your spatula and just make sure you spread it evenly across. Take the spicy heat, make sure you sprinkle just a little bit over the whole top. That's it. Next, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take the rosemary olive oil once again. Put your finger on top of it so that you don't drain too much into it. You're just gonna drizzle just a little bit over the top. And you're just gonna wait for it to, wait for it to brown. Give it about maybe two, three minutes in there thing. You don't want to break the potato patty up. So you might want to uh, shift some inside the holes. Now, as it's cooking, it's a good idea to just take the edges and just kind of push them in just a little bit. And that's just part of the formation that whenever you get to flip the um, potato patty, that it won't break apart. So it's kind of the technique that I use to make sure this comes to the perfection that I like all my dishes to be. And as you can see, I can kind of move it around a little bit so it's almost ready to be flipped. I think it's time to flip it, but of course, you want to use the right tool for the job. You don't want to use a spatula like this, but you want to use a spatula like this. So here we go. Now sometimes I have to get two spatulas to do this with because sometimes food just want to be stubborn. So here we go. See that golden brown right on top of them? That's, that's what you want. Just gonna cook that for about two, three minutes. And now those two, three minutes are up and it's time to take that potato patty right on off of here. Here we go. 
go. And there we go. Aunt B's potato patty.